Hello? The, my homemade tool rest and the reduction gear on the lathe. And here's what I came up with. Okay, what I got here, I got the motor. I built a counter shaft. The counter shaft has two pulleys. It has a one to one ratio on this side so I can bring everything back to its original uh, speeds on the lathe. And then I have a one to two ratio. I got a two inch here, a four inch here. So uh, what this will do will reduce every speed exactly in half. The reason for this is that the lathe was a little bit too fast, even for a 12 inch lathe. Um, if I was turning a, a bowl, uh, you know, uh, close to 12 inches, it was rough and off balance. The shaking was, a, uh, you know, quite a bit and uh, it was not a safe turning. Now, I'm not saying that this is going to make it completely safe. What I have here is a full 12 inch log. I just pulled this from outside. It's a pine log. And it had quite a few branches sticking out over here. So I actually cut down with a, a handsaw, just a couple of these to make it be able to spin on my lathe. And I did already a small test on it. Um, I put it on, I wanted to make sure that it was going to be safe and um, Basically, uh, I turned it on, uh, made sure that it was clearing everything, and I went with this, uh, uh, this large bow gouge uh, that I have. Uh, um, and I started throwing it up and seeing how bad. Now, there's still a significant amount of vibration. What I've noticed, uh, and I don't know if that's uh, yet related to the fact that I have a step pulley in there and I might be losing some of its torque. I noticed that it's easy for me to slow down the lathe with, uh, depending on how much pressure I have. I do have it set up on the slowest speed. The slowest speed right now on this lathe, because it used to be 635 RPMs, it should be at 312, 315, 317 uh, RPMs uh, roughly. On here now uh, and if you throw something then that's off balance on that uh, you're still gonna get a certain amount of vibration with that as well so this is definitely not an exception right now what I have is the small tool rest that I have so, so I heated this uh, uh, 5 8 rod heated it up with a pipe bent this section then heated up this section over here and again with a pipe I force it back up and make an, an L. And this gives me an additional three inches offset from the, uh, the lathe itself. So I'm able to uh, spin something big enough on the lathe. Um, even though this right now is only a 12 inch bowl, well, you know, I still have a good distance between here. This is 12 inches in here, but when I look at all of it, it's probably around 13 inches with these nub outs and all that stuff. It's clearing the tool, the banjo itself to, on this uh, uh, size. So um, I think that the idea is to work. Now I'm going to start this up and you'll see. Follow some safety precautions i mean i wear glasses for sight but you know uh, definitely wear face shields during any roughing that you're doing and try to stand out of the way of this um, i have it locked up between centers i put, put it in so it made good contact with the end of this uh, this log of course it's locked in place and i brought my tail stock on in as tight as i could um, so I feel that it's on an update on what I did for the 
the pulley itself um, uh, with that uh, uh, counter shaft and right now on the counter shaft what I did to kind of this is temporary um, I'll probably get a sprinkle over here uh, or from the top down that just applies uh, pressure on the downwards and we put a, some sort of a lever here so I can just pop it up and release some of the pressure from the belts and be able to go into the different speeds a little bit easier. The way it is right now, uh, even without changing that, I can jump the, uh, the pulleys just like I've always been able to do uh, the way the leg was uh, from factory. But to assist me, I just locked it up for now. I can raise this up slightly, not too much, and be able to go into the different gears a little bit easier. Not, uh, it doesn't give me the look. The clearance that I thought I would have, but it uh, definitely a lot better than uh, leaving it loose. Leaving it loose, the, the, there was a certain amount of slippage, so uh, you know, I just have it set up in a way that I got a little bit of tension in between. So here goes this test. And again, this is running at the slowest speed that this, this slate will have, which is 317 RPMs. Turn it on. Before I did this, uh, it would have been kind of hard for me to let this slow the slate down, uh, the way it's right now. And really all I'm doing right now, I mean I will turn this into something, but this video is not going to be on what I create out of this. Uh, I just wanted to see how the, the leg handled itself. It's very hard for me to turn something this large with a small bent, a small tool rest like what I got here. So, you know, I definitely I'll have to work out and uh, make my long one. So let me actually bring it to the end over here and screw up this side a little bit.
So let me go back to this real quick, see if I can just make this end true before I uh, do a 10 on the end. to my channel um, you know I would appreciate if you did uh, and you know I will be showing uh, quite a few homemade tools uh, some uh, like chisels and, you know, scrapers and gouges and uh, such a uh, tool made of uh, 